Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to we're going to have a a quick look to see if we can get a Dao Chan, and um, well, we'll have a little look at some of the additional things that have popped up today for Dynasty Scrolls. Um, happy to see that there's lots of other events that also coincide, not just the one event for say like Limited Hero. So. It's actually pretty cool, pretty cool. Always something to do, which is um, which is encouraging. Uh, a lot of games sort of fall off towards the end because players just get bored with them. Not enough content or not enough varied content. So we'll check out some of that. Um, some interesting points, and I love the fact that uh, you guys and girls are commenting in the video section, so please keep that up. Um, uh, an observation made on Discord was, uh, and we'll add this definitely to the tip one for this video, is save your weapons. Uh, so save your weapon tokens. Um, there is actually a divine-ish event. Um, I don't know its its full name, but it's a divine event where you can essentially summon for uh, these weapons, and 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 basically you can get well. I don't know the probability rate of actually getting the, the one that you want, but there is a higher chance of getting um, specifically better weapons for your characters. So if you're new and um, like me, I've already done 72. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, save them for the events because you'll probably end up making more progress that way. Um, what I noticed though from the spins that I did do uh, I didn't get very many of the epic uh, weapons themselves, and you do need 80 shards in order to uh, to use them. So I didn't really get any epic weapons, and honestly, yeah, it felt very, very underwhelming. Um, you eventually will get one of these chests, but I believe in there you only get like 20 shards out of a chest. So, yeah, it's... It, it's going to take quite a long time in order to build these uh, epic and divine class weapons up. Um, but basically, God's blessing is the shortcut to that. Like most things in the game, you'll realize you need ignits. Save your ignits. Um, and, you know, God's blessing, the deals that, are, that they do for the cheaper packs are, in my opinion, worth it. Um, so in God's blessing, I managed to get, I think I only bought one pack as well, or two, one, yeah, one pack. Just grab the General's Blade. It was like $3 or something like that. Even landing the General's Blade on the wheel uh, didn't happen. So it, it can be very confusing. I was like, oh, I've got enough shards. Why can't I create it? And it apparently doesn't work that way. You just use it to to basically become a food for the actual uh, weapon itself. So yeah and then also you need these weapons uh fragments in order to level up your weapons too so there's all these new additional things that like most mobile games it, it is always wise to save currencies especially if you don't know what they do uh save them up until you do find out eventually you will unlock this at level 56 and then each day you get to choose something you can choose three so for me, I feel like I need the relics and the experience. Uh, outfit essence is not too important at the moment, but I'll also get the weapons themselves. Then you get your daily sort of wish missions. Um, so make sure you're going through and completing these. Uh, they kind of do have a time frame for the unlock, um, but you want to be doing these each day, I believe. Um, Play three hero battles. I mean, look, it's free gold, right? Go conquer a city. <laughs> It'd be nice if it actually um, allowed you, when you clicked on it, to to teleport you to where you actually need to uh, go fight them. But yeah, sadly, it doesn't do that. Um, of course, there's always going to be some sort of uh, value there that I would like you to purchase. Um, butterfly feather. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you an example of what that is for. It's actually for your uh, divine wings. So to synthesize a set of divine wings, what do you need? 
uh, you need one butterfly feather. So go to the shop and it's 800 of those crystals. So you're going to get one essentially for free just by completing your daily missions. Um, I mean, you can buy them, of course, but what what's the point? Uh, I don't know. So this one's available on Friday and this one's available on Saturday. So Conquest and City Siege. And I believe they tie into, uh, if I go back to Arcade, if I go to Expedition. So they kind of tie into this. So you want to be doing your um, daily battles anyway. Um, for obvious reasons, you get resources. But then there's actual challenge events here as well. Um, don't forget to reset them. They do reset eventually, but you want to reset them. You can save up the reset token down here, apparently. Um, there's no real super duper strategy. Uh, the more times you complete it, the more of the skill points that you get and you can increase your um, nodes depending on where you lack if it's hp defense or attack you can start to increase them um they do get expensive though uh so yeah so you get one one basically from where is it you should get one for every time you beat one of these things let's just go down here i'll show you how to get the skill points real quick but you want to be doing this um, daily when you unlock them, uh, basically because you're gonna need you're gonna need all of these resources because everything kind of ties together. I like the way they've done it, um, but it is a lot more time consuming in the sense um, that if you miss certain actions each day, you do lose out in the long term. So skill points, you get one for each battle that you complete. And then once you get enough skill points, you can unlock more nodes on the tree. So you want to be doing that. Um, the washing shop isn't good. You know, it, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, you can get some other things too if you don't want to buy your feathers. Where is it? Where's the gift shop? You can exchange it for the actual weapon pieces that you may need, equipment pieces. Um, so overall, it's worth doing. Uh, that's pretty much where I'm getting there. Um, interesting. Don't really know what these do. So I'll, I don't want to delve, delve into that just yet. I'm sure there are probably valuable later on and probably um, maybe like avatar cards. Um, that could be interesting. So moving on. Apart from the, the, the general tip of save your gold and start saving for resources, um, you know, don't spend your weapon tokens, uh, what else should we be doing? You're doing your daily quests, make sure you're fulfilling your wish shop event. Um, also, you make sure that you want to do your daily attacks here. Uh, if you don't already do this, it's quite easy. You just do three challenges a day and then you can do a plunder, so three plunders. There isn't really a cooldown on it, so that's good. Um, but the reason you want to do that is A, it helps out your legion, and B, you get better rewards. So, you know, get into the habit of, of actually going and, and assisting your legion here. Make sure, as I said in the first video, that you join a legion and you do your daily contributions. Um, overall, it helps you out and you get some additional currency. As for missions themselves, like I said before, prioritize the ones that don't take as long. Um, there are quite a few here that are quite easy to do, but you know, you should always be buying your stamina pills regardless. That's like number one priority, buy stamina pills. They're the most important part of the game at the moment. I imagine that they fall off eventually just because the amount of... Um, <laughs> The amount of shit that you would need to level up probably goes through the roof. Um, they do hard cap games like this, by the way. So, yeah, there is that. But anyway, let's delve into some um, more interesting things as we discuss it. Um, this is kind of like a cake event where uh, you've got an arms race. It's about your legion. Um, you should be getting these each day. So, Play Story Instance. It's like your daily missions, so make sure that you're doing this as well as doing your, um, you know, obviously doing your daily missions as well. But I guess this one would encourage you to do all of them. Um, this is, if you haven't played Dynasty Heroes before, 
this is essentially the cake event um, for Dynasty Heroes tied in with the balloon event. So you kind of want to be doing all of your daily missions in order to get the maximum amount of additional currency. Um, some of it's a little bit reduced, which I like, so you don't have to do the 20 attacks in Arena. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. The treasure one takes a little bit of time, but eventually you'll be able to smash them. Um, Expedition. This is time-gated uh, based on your fatigue. So, yeah, make sure you're doing uh, doing the, the initial 10 um, attacks and then just wait for your fatigue to fill back up. It does it every two hours. So just be aware that you can't do all of these uh, straight away. You will be required to come back in. So let's have a look to see what we got. We got an extra merit. We got some um, gold. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. We're, we're, we are level two, level four, level four already. Very cool. So for these ones, um, you, you get them out of the chest as you saw and as you level up. These ones are the most common ones. The horn is, you know, obviously the most easiest one to get. So I strongly encourage everyone in the legions to do that just because it helps you out. I'm a bit annoyed that I have to tap this. Oh, no, no. Hold it down. Hold it down. <laughs> hold it down. You'll be able to do it fine. Um, by the way, if you want to find out how to do it, you just click on it, the little plus symbol. As for the drums, um, you can get drums as well as the horns. Uh, but like I said, you should just be doing this anyway. Every day you should be doing this, but more particularly, it's only a day and a half for the event, so you want to be doing that as well. This is the pay-to-win side of things. Um, if you want to contribute to your guild that way, uh, by all means, do that. Uh, you do get some ignits as well as the uh, flags, but I think that's the only way to get flags is to spend money. Uh, what, are the, what are the rewards? Oh, you, you get Butterfly. Ooh, okay. So you might not even have to spend stuff on that wishing account. Oh, very nice. What's that? Synthesize three shards into a Thunderfire Feather. So you can get advanced cosmetics, essentially. You also get a frame and a title, World Overseer. Um, I don't know if it's individual or if it's mm, guild-based, but we'll see. We'll see. Because if it's individual ranked, I understand that. I feel like this would be better if it was a guild-based thing. Um, if you are in the same Legion as the player in the rankings, you can claim your Legion reward. Okay. All right, so maybe it is Legion ranked. It's good to read the little red fine print, people. <laughs> but it looks like you might be able to, but we'll definitely know for sure later on. Um, obviously, that's not opened yet. That will open up afterwards, similar to the cake event, the cross-server event. Uh, so that's your missions to get your things. That's your recharge. This is your shop. Ooh, there you go. So your merit points can give you some additional goodies. Um, again, this is kind of why you want to be in the best uh, best server. Universal charm shards. No, you can keep those. I want the universal warrior shards. Where are they? Yeah. Yep. I'd definitely be buying that out and building... Um, hopefully, I'd be buying that out and building um, my second divine. And then maybe get some Dalchan. But we'll see. You also get outfits. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. What about this? What's this? Transformation charm. You have zero legendary outfit skills. Okay, that's... I'm not quite sure what these things do. Um, so, I'm not a pro. We're not going to talk about those ones. Talk about the more obvious things, I think. Um, so, superior merit is the gold ones. Normal merit is the um, other ones, I assume. Uh, but you can use interchangeable currency there. Interesting. So they, they do do... It's it's very, very similar to Dynasty Heroes in the reward structure. Oh, you can also buy um, some gold banners here for, for, um, for gold themselves. Interesting. Some flags, I should say. 
So you can buy some pills, epic weapon shards, chests. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, it's only got like a day and a bit for the first round to end, and then I assume you still have chances to do it after that as well for the um, cross server. Uh, but we'll see how we go with that. All right, let's move on to the more interesting thing, which is the limited event itself. Uh, we will be summoning for Dalchan. Uh, we're going to grab as much as this as possible, and then we're going to max that out. It's going to cost you 12,000 people to get 40 spins. Is it worth it? <laughs> we will see. We will see. So in total, we get 69 spins. Um, that's fine. That's fine. So let's see where we can get on the ranking list. Uh, we should at least get, uh, probably top 10, I'd say top 10. Um, yeah, 30 shards, maybe top 10, maybe somewhere around there, probably 30 shards, but that's okay. 30 shards are 30 shards. We'll take them if we can manage to do that. So let's go, let's do a 10 bomb, see how we go. I'd be, I'd be quite amused if we do get a Daochan, uh, the full, well, I should say complete copy. And then we'll do some singles as well. Cause you all know, if you saw my other video, <laughs> we did get, uh, we did get one of the legendary heroes from single pools. So we'll do some singles, see how we go. You never know. Um, should always state, always should say, oh, I should remind myself here, probability. So you get, it's a 0.1% chance, at 1.8% chance to get the hero themselves. And you have about a 30% chance to get the legendary shards. The odds of legendary shards are actually pretty good. Um, you can get one to three, by the way. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen five. Um, but yeah, you need 120. So, so far we've got 32, not looking that flash to be honest, um, but hopefully we do get a Daochan copy, a complete copy would be pretty cool right about now, um, but yeah, with those odds you never know, you never, never know, they're not the greatest, of course for events like this it is always nice to only get the uh, epic T heroes, and then we'll do a 10 bomb, give me it, give me it, give me it. Uh, didn't happen. Oh, that's right. 69 pools. How many shards did we get? We got 40 shards. So where did we land? We land 15th. So we probably would need to, um, spend a little bit of money in order to get into the top 10. Uh, honestly, not really that interested to be fair. Um, is what it is. I will eventually build her another way I assume um, but we'll also we'll see how we go uh, if I do spend money it'll probably be on the um, on the arms race event so I do have 12 hours to decide if I want to do that um, basically if you do spend money on the arms race event you still get a recharge bonus so you know that's a little bit of incentive for those that are doing current coinciding events like that Anything else? Anything else that we want to look at just now? Still got my 14 day events. That's nice. Eventually we'll finish that out, I assume. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I particularly want to buy just yet for here. Um, yeah, but I'm going to keep plugging away. I'll just keep staving up those um, those treasures. Also, if you didn't know, in the Legion shop, uh, if it lets me get in there, go to your shop, you can actually buy three a day for 6,000 Legion currency, which is not bad at all. Um, also, you can buy certain hero copies, and you can buy the index scrolls, which you can never really get enough of. Um, also, there's one more thing that you can buy, which is, oh, we get some rewards. We'll take those. Appearance. So you can actually get some pretty cool items here. 
including outfit essence. And, um, well, I mean, yeah, basically, as far as I can tell, this is like a, um, you transform your avatar into this. So your protagonist can potentially change into that. I'm going to have a look to see which one I want to do first, though, just because, um, I don't think you get a nation bonus. You, you may get a nation bonus, but it doesn't seem to describe it very well. See how there's no Wu Wei Shu Warlord Nation next to the actual Cheng Pong? Um, what does he do, though? I guess this would be the best way to decide. It might be a little bit longer in the video at this stage. So you do column damage. Uh, what do you do? You do magic damage to random enemies. Uh, what do you do? Uh, do, 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 do? Front row. So you hit, you're a front row hitter. Uh, attack says 10 to some more crit. What about these? Ming Ho, he looks like a defensive hero. What does he do? I mean, heck, let's just buy one and see what happens. You know, let's see what happens. I wonder what I need to do. Do I need to transform? If I activate this, what happens? I activate it. I get some additional things. So I transform. Does that mean this guy trans? She transforms. I feel like you transform into it. Maybe you don't physically transform into it. Maybe you just take on the skill sets. Hmm. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Because that's not. That's pretty cool. I figured there'd be an avatar site styled event regardless. So let's see. Can rush through here and we'll see whether or not she uh, my main protagonist turns into that character um because there should be like this little thing it says transform yeah there you go so it works exactly like your avatar uh in dynasty heroes uh, basically you take on the traits of the character or avatar that you transform into um, you can still buff your outfit though. That doesn't seem to, um, change like your, your actual outfit stats. Um, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. So I guess we'll be, um, we'll be saving up and grabbing some avatar cards then. Um, I don't think you get a set bonus though with it. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to say anything about like a Wu Nation or Warlord. So that's fine. But yeah, I think we'll be able to do some, some pretty interesting transformations in the future, um, which is really good because it coincides with the rewards in here. Um, thanks for those that have stuck around so far. But yeah, like you can transform them into like literally divine heroes. So I could run a, run a double Jia Shu, <laughs> but I'd need a thousand of those things to do it. Wow. I wonder how much that would cost me. I wonder how much that would cost me indeed. Um, probably a lot. Has this guy got him yet? How much have you spent? I wonder if you can tell. I wonder if you can tell. Rewards is only five merit. Wow. Five gold merit. You only get five for coming first. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds pretty damn expensive if you ask me. There's no real gold merits in there either. Interesting. Very interesting. So you do get one merit for using a, a legendary flag though. Because it says plus one down there. So you'd have to use a shit ton to get uh, a thousand. A shit ton. Um, 
That, yeah, that's that sounds very expensive. We're going to skip on that, boys and girls. <laughs> We're not doing that one. Uh, we will just keep saving them up. and Maybe over time we'll be able to afford one later on. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, chill out on the Discord. Let me know in the comment section uh, what, uh, what's the next tip should be. Um, and especially if I've missed anything. But um, thanks for watching.